Jeremy, the repair technician at Norman's Musical Instruments, and I'm going to show you a few tips on maintaining your instrument and getting the most out of it. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your cornet. So, first of all, we're going to need to remove all the parts on a cornet that can be removed. So the valves, the bottom caps, and the slides. So once we've done that, we can then start to clean the cornet. So what you're going to need, you're going to need some brushes, and you're going to need some washing up liquid, and some warm soapy water. So now we're going to take the brush, we're going to make sure it's got wet and got some soap on it as well, so we can push this through the inside of the instrument. and then repeat it through here. Then what we're going to do, we're going to brush all the pipes here, making sure you rinse the brush every now and then. And then, obviously, push this all the way down. So once we've done that, we're going to then take a bigger brush, which we're going to use for the valves. So. And for the smaller parts, like where the mouthpiece goes in, we're going to use an even smaller brush. And that will just take any of the dirt off. So, once we've cleaned the actual cornet, we're going to clean the parts as well. We're not going to clean the valves today, we're just going to clean the slides. So, take the long vinyl brush and push this through. And repeat this with all the valves. So, once you've done that, then we're going to reassemble the the cornet itself. We're going to make sure all the parts are dry before we reassemble the cornet. So, take the cornet, we're just going to place the valve caps back on. Now it's important that we put the slides back on first before we put the valves in. Obviously you need to lubricate all these parts before you replace them back onto the cornet which can be found on some of the YouTube videos that we've done. So once they're all back on we're going to put the valves back in. Now on the valves are numbers which correlate to the, the numbers of the valve block. So we've got 3, 2 and 1. So 3. The larger side of the valve guide is going to go towards the bell. Then obviously take number two and put it in number two. Checking again that the large side is towards the bell. And then the same with number one. 